So welcome to Energy Block Release 6, Open into the Cosmic Spiral. So standing um, in mountain pose, feet are about hip width apart. You can measure that with the length of one foot if you need to. Knees are soft, sternum lifting, shoulders nice and relaxed and the crown of the head lengthening up towards the sky. Fantastic. We're going to begin with a short breathing practice to align ourselves vertically. So I invite you to either lower your gaze or close the eyes if you're comfortable with that. Drawing your awareness to your breath. Observing where your breath feels comfortable, maybe feeling the movement of the abdomen or the gentle rise and fall of the chest. Tune in to your breathing rhythm, feeling the connection between your feet with the earth beneath you. And the next time you exhale, allow the breath to flow down through the legs into the earth. And as you breathe in, allow the breath to flow in from the earth up through the legs back to your heart center. As you breathe out, allow the breath to flow up through the crown of the head into the sky. Breathing in through the crown back to the heart. Breathing out from the heart down into the earth. Breathing in from the earth to the heart. And continue in this vertical alignment breath for a few more rounds. Each time you breathe in from the earth, breathing in strength, stability, those nourishing qualities that the earth provides, allow them to settle in your heart. And as you breathe in from the sky, allow a sense of spaciousness, lightness, vitality from the sun to cascade down through the crown, down to your heart, warming, nourishing. And the next time you breathe into the heart, allow your breathing pattern to settle once more. Gently open the eyes if they're closed. Welcome back. We're going to move into the first part of the sequence, which is opening to the cosmic spiral. So this is where we open to the abundance of the energies of the earth, the sky, the universe around us and absorb those energies so that we can um, express our true intention. So it's helpful at this point to think of something about yourself that you like, your best qualities, and think about enhancing those qualities. So I invite you to bring the hands together at the heart, palms touching, connecting all the elements through the fingers and the thumbs. Beautiful. And gently lifting the hands up towards the sky, we open the hands towards the sky. Now you might not be able to see my hands uh, in the frame, so I'll lower them down a little bit uh, so you can see them. And this is where we're opening the heart, opening our arms to the energies of the universe, inviting in inspiration, vitality, that determination to live our very best life. And so we're going to start by moving round anti-clockwise. 
So I'm going to mirror you. So turning round to your left side and then behind to the right and then back to the front. And we do this twice more. So turning slowly, opening to the spaciousness of the sky, the energy of the sun, the strength of the earth. And once more, connecting with your highest qualities, your highest vision for yourself. Beautiful. And then gently with the palms facing down, move the hands down to shoulder height. And this is where we form the Eagle Mudra. So we pinch together all the fingers and thumbs to form a beak, like the beak of the eagle. Drawing the hands in towards the chest, feel the shoulder blades contracting, tightening towards each other. And then on an out breath, release the hands down, feel that release between the shoulder blades. Hands come down in front, lovely. Breathing in, lift the hands towards the heart. Turn the palms out. As you breathe out, send that heart energy out in front of you. Breathing in, lift the hands up to the sky once more. And then breathing out as they come down to the shoulder height. Eagle Mudra, draw that eagle beak in, that eagle of intention and then release the hands down with the breath. Breathe into the heart, send that light from the heart forwards and then up, breathing in, breathing out, arms to shoulder height, eagle, and then release on the out breath, breathing into the heart, lovely. So you've got a beautiful flow, hands come forwards, reaching up, absorbing that energy from the sky, drawing it down like a golden arc, eagle beak into the heart, releasing the heart, drawing that light up, expanding forwards, lifting to your highest. Once more, hands down to shoulder height, eagle, wisdom, releasing the heart area, softening, breathing in, light, strength, breathing out that light into the world, lifting the hands up and then gently lowering the hands down to the sides of the body. Beautiful. So the next movement um, is where we offer that light, that energy that we've expanded within ourselves and we offer it out to the world. So this is you offering your best qualities to the world. So again, I'm going to mirror you. So taking the left hand with the palm facing up at the navel, we form the Dia Mudra. So this is where you um, bring the middle and ring finger to the thumb and extend the other two fingers to form the antlers of the deer. Okay, and we place the right hand above the left palm, visualizing in the left palm a beautiful flower or jewel, something that represents your best qualities, those good things that you like about yourself that you want to share with the world. Lifting up the right arm as we lift the right knee. And then we're going to step out to the right, softly onto the earth, releasing the hand, releasing the fingers so that you release those qualities. Beautiful. Okay. And then from here, we begin to make circles with the arms. So the right hands make in a slightly bigger circle than the left hand. 
the knees are gently bending so there's no strain in the knees and this is where we're um, creating a beautiful circle of light that's lovely so we're offering that light out into the world it's beautiful and then bringing the hands round to the right side creating an arc like a rainbow lifting the hands up over the head down to the level of the heart and then draw the hands back to the heart and then once again offering out to the right and then drawing that light back into the heart beautiful okay so moving the right foot forwards we do that to the left side so the right palm facing up Dia Mudra in the left hand. Lifting your jewel, your flower up as you lift the left knee and then step out to the left, release the mudra, releasing those qualities into the world. And then beginning to circle. So circling, this time the left hand a little bit bigger than the right hand gently moving the knees enjoying that flow that ease of movement as you create that beautiful circle of light filled with your positive intentions for the world that's beautiful expanding the heart area Expanding that light, that warmth, compassion out into the world. Lovely. And then hands gently take that light out to the left side, arc like a rainbow to shoulder height, draw them into the heart, and then once again offer out into the world, and then draw that light back. So we're going to do that once more to each side. So this time more like a flow. So Dia Mudra with the right hand, left palm facing up. Breathing in as you lift the right hand, lift the right leg and then step out to the right, release the mudra. Circling that light creating a gentle twist in the base of the spine, allowing anything we don't need to release to the earth. It's like an unwinding, an unraveling of any tensions or stresses you may have. Unwinding those. That's beautiful. And then offering your best out into the world. Rainbow arc to the left, draw in past the heart and then out to the right side and then drawing softness back to the heart. Right foot comes forward, left hand on top, Dia Mudra, right hand underneath lifting your precious jewel, lifting the left knee, open out to the left, offering your best, beginning to unravel, to unwind to the left, a beautiful circle of light, a wheel of light, allowing your heart to expand allowing your intentions to positively affect people around you and the world. Lovely. And then gently 
allowing those intentions to flow out, up in an arc, to your heart, through your heart, out once more into the world, and then gently draw the hands back to the heart. So this next movement is where we take those intentions and we create a bit like an archer mudra, but again using the deer mudra with the hands, being, the deer mudra being connected to the heart. And we really visualize ourselves achieving those best qualities. So stepping the feet a little bit closer, making the deer mudra with both hands this time placing um, the hands together at the heart and then placing the palms together once more connecting those elements. Dhyamudra, Mudra and then this time we're going to bring the right hand to the right shoulder and step back with the left foot as the left hand draws back the right hand draws forwards. So you're looking through the fingers, visualizing yourself, achieving those positive qualities, visualizing yourself as you would like to be. You're already achieving it. And then step forwards, bringing the hands back together at the heart, sealing in that intention, that positive vision into your heart. Once more, making the Dhyamudra, Mudra, placing the left hand at shoulder height, the right hand this time moves back as the right leg moves back and then extending the left arm forwards. Once more, visualizing yourself achieving those positive intentions, visualizing yourself, your best self. And then stepping forwards, hands coming together at the heart, sealing in that vision, anchoring it into your heart. And from here, we gently take the hands out and then move them back in. Breathing in as you expand, breathing out, contracting. So you may recognize this as the ocean waves breath from EBR3. Expanding the heart as you breathe in expanding that golden light, that warmth, compassion outwards and then concentrating it as you bring the hands together on the out breath. That's great. And I invite you to expand a beautiful sense of gratitude. Gratitude for your best qualities, gratitude for the energies from the earth that we draw upon. That's beautiful. Gently, gradually bringing the hands closer together once more until the palms once again connect at the heart. Lifting the hands upwards, we're going to open the palms to the sky once more and we're going to seal in these positive intentions, this time moving round in a circle um, Clockwise, I think. Yes, clockwise. We did anti-clockwise last time. So I'm going to mirror you. Step in round to the right, then behind, to the left, and back to front, and twice more. 
nice and slowly, absorbing those positive energies from the sky, from the universe, allowing it to cascade through the crown, through the palms, into your body, energizing your heart once more. And then gradually drawing the hands back down to your heart, sealing in your practice, your intentions. Gently releasing the hands.